The first step in your polishing process is to uh, put us down a slight amount of water. We've already cleaned the floor, so our surface is clean and film free. We're going to put down a light amount of water, just enough to keep the dust down and to lubricate the pad so that it runs smoothly over the surface. The key is also you don't want the water to dry out. So if it does start getting a little dry, I will add water to it. The surface should be covered counterclockwise so we don't shoot water all over. And you go over each section six to ten times. You'll notice the product is working when the water starts turning milky, which is what it's starting to do now. Remember, we're working up with the grits, starting with the lowest grit first, which is the 800, which will take out scratches, minor scratches, and even out the surface so that when you go over it with your 1500 pre-polish pad and your polish pad, you'll get a lot greater, smoother surface. And remember, gloss is a condition of smoothness. So the smoother we get this floor, the glossier it's going to be. You'll notice the weights on the machine help the diamond pads cut into the surface a little more to smooth it out. You should have a wet vac to pick up the slurry, or you can use a double bucket system where you have clean water in one bucket and pick your soiled water up with the other bucket. Okay, what we're going to do now is I'm going to pick up this slurry and then we're going to put the gloss meter on it. Let's see if the 800 did indeed smooth the surface out a little bit. We have since rinsed the floor. Now we're going to check our, our gloss meter to see if we have smoothed the floor out even more. 3.7. We're making improvements. Now we're going to go with the 1500 grit. What we're going to do is repeat the process that we use for the 800 grit. I have put water on the floor. I'm going to add the weights to the machine. And we're going to go in a counterclockwise motion eight to ten times over the surface. Take your time. You're dealing with a very hard surface here. It does not respond as fast as you might be used to on vinyl composition floor or a floor finish. And once again, you know the pad is working when the water turns milky, as it's starting to do now. I do not recommend using a high-speed machine for this process, and certainly not a burnisher. Although, if you're doing this on concrete or terrazzo in a wide open area, you could use propane equipment. I'm pretty much done with this area now, going over it eight or ten times. I'm going to pick up this slurry, I'm going to rinse it, and we're going to see how our gloss is after using the 1500 grit. Four point eight. Now we're going to put the 3000 in it and this is where you should really see a noticeable difference to the gloss. Once again we're putting enough water on the floor to lubricate. For your 800 and 1500 you use a little more water and for your 3,000, use a little less water, but once again, you don't want it to dry out. We're going to take our time and go over this very slowly, eight to ten times, because this is the part that the customer is going to see, or that you're going to see. Some of you may be thinking, okay, I get the floor all glossy and looking good, but how do I maintain it? The 3000 is the pad you would maintain the floor with. 
You can put it on your automatic scrubber for daily cleaning. You can put it on your burnisher for nightly burnishing or a couple times a week. And you can also use it to touch up if you see any traffic areas. Natural stone care is a little more unique than putting a permanent type or, or water-based acrylic on the floor because once you put those on the floor, you have to work with them and maintain them either by spray buffing or scrubbing and recoating. With this system, you don't have to. Anytime the floor starts looking a little dull, just come in and repolish it. Now, I could keep going over this and get it higher on the gloss meter, but I want to show you what eight or 10 passes over the floor does for you. So I'm going to rinse this off thoroughly, then we're going to put the gloss meter on it and see what we come up with. Well, as you can see, we finished up with the 3,000. Let's see how our gloss is. 7.8. We can do a couple things at this point. You can leave the floor. What I recommend doing while you have the floor in the condition you want it, or if you wanted to get it glossier, all you have to do is go over it a few more times and then impregnate the floor with a penetrating sealer. Your John Don rep can tell you which one is best for your needs.